sensory organs give us so much information every day. One of these sense organs is the eye, and it is one of the most complex parts of your body. The eye is stimulated by light and is able to focus on objects, sending the images to your brain to process. In this video, we'll look at the specific parts of the eye and their functions. The eye is made up of three layers, the sclera, the choroid layer, and the retina. Let's start on the outside and work our way in. The sclera is the most outside layer of the eye and is actually made of two parts, the sclera, yes, that is the same name, and the cornea. The sclera is the white part of the eye. It maintains the eye's shape, supporting and protecting it. The cornea is clear and bulging and is the window to the eye. It refracts light towards the pupil inside your eye. Behind your cornea is a transparent fluid called aqueous humor. The aqueous humor supplies nutrients to the cornea as well as protect the lens underneath. Glaucoma is a common issue in older people and happens when there is a buildup of fluid in the aqueous humor, which causes pressure. If this pressure continues too long, it can result in blindness. When you go to an optometrist and they do the air puff test in your eye, they are testing for glaucoma. The choroid layer is next and is made up of the iris, pupil, and lens. The iris is the front of the choroid layer. It's a thin circular muscle that regulates the amount of light entering the eye. It is also the colorful part of your eye. The pupil is actually a opening or a hole formed by the iris, and its size is controlled by the iris muscle. In low light, your iris will cause your pupil to get bigger to take more light in. In bright light, your pupil will be small to better focus the light to see. The lens is immediately behind the pupil. There are ligaments that alter the shape of the lens to allow your eye to focus. Cataracts happen when the lens becomes cloudy or a milky white color. They are caused by protein breaking down or an increase of water into the lens. Behind the lens is the vitreous humor. It is a cloudy jelly-like material which helps maintain eye shape and lets light through. The most inner layer is the retina. The retina is made up of layers of cells. Two types of these cells are light sensitive and are called rods and cones. Rods are specialized cells for dim light and helps us see differences between different shades of dark and light, allowing us to better see movement and shapes. Rods have rhodopsin, which contains vitamin A. If you aren't getting enough vitamin A in your diet, it could lead to night blindness. Cones are specialized for color and high intensity light. Because cones work best with bright light, it is difficult for you to distinguish between colors in the moonlight or dim light. Color blindness happens because of defective cones, which cause the person to not see some combinations of light wavelengths. There's an area of the retina that only has cones, which makes it the most light sensitive area. It is called the fovea centralis. There's also an area of the retina called a blind spot. The blind spot is where the optic nerve attaches. There are no rods or cones there because the optic nerve is in that spot. While there are no rods or cones to see and respond to light, your brain fills in what it thinks should be in that spot, so it doesn't appear to you that there is a blind spot in your vision. Ideally, your cornea, lens, and eyeball 
are all shaped perfectly to see clear and nice images. But often there is an issue causing the focal point to not land right on your retina like it should. Instead, the focal point falls before or past your retina. For example, if your eyeball is too short, close objects will be blurry to you. This is called farsightedness or hyperopia. The spot where the image would be in focus is past your retina. A convex corrective lens can fix it. On the other hand, if your eyeball is too long, far objects will be blurry. Where you, the image would be in focus is a point before your retina. This is nearsightedness or myopia and can be corrected with a concave corrective lens. Well, there was a quick version of the parts of the eye and their functions, as well as some disorders thrown in there. The eye is a super interesting sense organ. Make sure you take care of yours.